Ah, Fred det här och idag spelar vi Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. Ett av mina absoluta favoritspel i den skräckvangen och till, en av de bästa spelen till Nintendo Gamecube. Eh, och ingenting mer att ord om utan vi bara sätter igång. Flesh. Bone. Bound together with the oddest magical incantation. This wretched book is where it all began so long ago. Before time. Before humanity. I am Dr. Edward Roivas. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. Sucks to be you. This is not my story, nor even the story of the Roivas family. It is the story of humanity. Like it or not, believe it or not, as you will. Your perceptions will not change reality, but simply color it. Humanity has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia. Ignorant of so much, and dependent on so few. The Guardians grow restless. Their time once again near. Whether by fate or misfortune, my family has crossed their path, and they didn't take kindly to it. Their attention turns to my granddaughter, for she is the last of my line, and the last hope for humanity. I got a shotgun! Also zombies. Oh god! Oh, go away! Yeah. Yeah. No. Back. Back. Hello? Miss Alexandra Roivas? Um, yeah, who's this? This is Inspector Legrasse of the Rhode Island Police. I'm sorry to disturb you, but there's been an accident with your grandfather. I'll be on the next flight out. Uppmärksamma lyssnare och vana tv-spelsfantaster kanske känner igen Jennifer Hales röst. Jennifer Hales utblandad Samus Aaron och kvinnliga Commander Shepard i Mass Effect. Ah, Miss Roivas. I'm pleased to meet you. I trust you had a pleasant trip? Um, yes, I suppose so, considering. Yes, my condolences. This is most unpleasant. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Yes, it is. Can we get this over here? Of me? course, uh, this way. But I must warn you, it's not a pleasant sight. I'm afraid there's not much to see. <laughs> Looks a lot I like a lot to see to me. I don't know. Blood everywhere. Miss Roivas is that your grandfather, <laughs> Edward? Yes, it's him. He's wearing our family ring. <laughs> I don't understand. Why are you showing me this? Can't you check dental records or something? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. It's my job, lady. You're the only living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no head. No, no, oh, that no does sense. complicate things. There's no sign of intrusion, and there was certainly a lot of force used here. I have never seen anything like this in my 20 years on the force. We have no evidence except for the body, and what's left doesn't say much. Ugh, we don't have a single clue. 
Well, you better find out who did this. I am not leaving Rhode Island until you do. There must be some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. I want answers. So do I. I wish I had some. Oh, Madeless Police is on it. Shocked by her grandfather's mysterious death and frustrated at the incompetence of the local police, Alex vows to uncover the truth. She decides to search the mansion, the place where Edward conducted his research. If there was a tie to his past and possibly a tie to his murderer, it would be here. Alright, we're playing, we're playing the game. Let's look around. Oh, we have a little mod saw, let's hear some. So many things fenced it. Take the LDL Stodner. A little music to the book. Wooden flag is fastened in the orchard in the place of a walk. A colored signal is carved in the wood or the salt. So I just white now to insert a narrow blade. Punch! Punch! Portraits an ancestral warrior's line. Nine to four year walls. The faces are got a dark brooding edge. There's something about each one that gives you an unsettling feeling. Brooding line, huh? A brooding breed? Let me hang it up. Steady. And it works some more on. carriage clock. The hands appear to be stuck, yet the clock continues to tick with the time permanently set to 3.33. Hmm. There is a key in the back of the clock, presumably for winding it. Should Alex look at the key? Oh, yes. Alex picks up the desk clock uh, and pulls the key from it. However, there is something odd about this key. It isn't for winding it at all. It looks like a dresser key. Now, how did that get there? This door is locked. Oh, Let's go in here. A library. And a big ass telescope thing. And a two lead at home to buy him. A globe vehicle in the wood frame. It's glossy surface made like this of an ancient map. None of the situation in the northern hemisphere, but a label that reads, There be dragons here. The Roiva's family tree hangs on the wall. Shadows flitter across its surface, obscuring the detail. If one looks closely, the family's secrets are revealed. And those quit going by. One of them was a mime! <gasps> Horror! These books contain the history. The Roiva's family genealogy, birth and date. The records, deed, and writs, the Roivers' history is a troubled one. As Mediterranean immigrants, the early Roivers were shunned by other settlers in North America. Suspected of witchcraft, the Roivers were con convicted during the witch hunt, forcing them into hiding. As memories faded, the Roivers rebuilt their lives. 
Tony said, the book Salak sees one that seems to be placed differently than all the others, as if drawing attention to itself. Curious, she examines it. Upon the inside, the cover a shaky handwriting shapes in numbers 333. He replaces the book. <laughs> Grandfather Clock seems to stand ominously in the corner, gazing at the empty room with almost patriarchal air. Use left and right to adjust the clock hands. Should Alice adjust the clock hands? Do I want to advance with the plot? Yes, let's. What time could it be? be very deliberate, matching the etchings on the table and the walls of the station. The candles are unlit. A diabolic drawing of a stack of human bodies, each one cemented into place. What twisted psyche could have executed this drawing? Though disturbing, it is meticulously rendered down to the subtlest detail. The precise anatomy of fractured bones and the convolution of spines and ribs entwine into a mesmerizing sight. Lovely. Shining sword. An ancient Roman weapon, a gladius, is on display above the fireplace mantel. As a token of eclectic junk. This is a bizarre drawing of a cyclopean city, its immense architecture bathed in unnatural fog. The detail is incredible. As Alex studies it, she can almost imagine the city's inhabitants. Painting of a jungle shrouded building. It seems to be a temple in Asia, perhaps in Thailand or Cambodia. Is this something uh, foreshadow or a muscle socket when they spin it? This looks like some kind of mask. The face is serene in composure, with a faint hint of a smile tugging at the corners of the mouth and eyes and closed in deep meditation. This gothic cathedral is silhouetted against the stark light. The image is vicious and devoid of subtlety. Every brushstroke echoes the spikes of the architecture imbuing a violent feeling, as though the building itself is a harsh imposition on reality. A grim picture indeed. Since some Mark Macaulay said, an aged page set inside a glass frame hangs on the wall. An insane scribbling covers the page, incomprehensible to Alex. Perhaps if Alex had some kind of tome, it could be deciphered. Like this tome over here, perhaps. It's glowing. A large leather bound antique book rests upon the cluttered desk. Should Alex read the book? <sighs> I guess. Hit them on an ancient tome, that's how I'll be That's one regular. Sanity be damned! Well, that was weird. I guess I keep reading then. I had no knowledge of what was to come, nor did I care. How the knowledge changed me, it will also change you. As you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. You too will come to understand, or you will perish. Oh good. This thing like will be happy. That once I could not see beyond the veil of our reality. 
to see those who dwell behind. My life now has purpose, for I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. I was once a fool. Where is Quies Candamest? Where is Conservandine? Facusatis aquae sumat, et animus eorum conferma. Pugna huis, dia sit modo prima multarum, si ingeptum conficiamus. Quam primum, Centurio Augustus. Wolo res I would like to compliment you once more on your battle tactics. Our enemies did not have a chance. Do you believe that it really exists, Centurion? I do not doubt our Emperor's beliefs, or his orders. But if we are to retrieve the artifact, then we must be strong and patient. Okay, okay. This is my life now. Days on the floor is finely crafted, inlaid with gold and gems of pious canton and fire. A strong linear design is situated in the middle and is equally unknown to the Roman soldier. Well, isn't this a charming place? The decorations on the wall are a mixture of ancient cultures. Civilizations have long since turned to dust. Perhaps this dungeon is all that remains of them. into the dark pit. A ladder leads into the dank heart of the labyrinth. Danger lurks beneath, yet Pius' courageous resolve does not buckle. Should Pius climb down the ladder? Well. Just that. The box. It's also a zombie. Lies on the floor. Why is it pick up by a granite block? I think you must have got neat, but it's got tuned. Why is it stuck a lot? Oh, hi, zombies. Yeah. Haha, you can't see me. I'm going to go to the house, so I'm going to go The strange granite block. Let's pick them. Mm. 
nästan som att spela filet ska hitta dem. Hi zombies. Arms up, what are you gonna do? Bleed on me? Zombies. Hmm, this is something something there. What can they have a pet? Here's the worst, I never will. This wall is prominently decorated with a strange lined symbol carved into the granite. Cut into the wall, the square and the whole line with scratches, as though something has been removed from it. Army of Tutus Spiel. Uh, okay. Yes, 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 I know how to use inventory, thank you. Uh, blue, huh? Hi, Mr. Headless Zombie Man. Pius, you must prove your worth by destroying this statue. How does that prove my worth? Pressing arm will enable Pius to much more stronger to attack, huh? Say to the lock. Yes, yes, yes. Like this? That, that, that. Next lesson on that one, and also tutorial. Sure. Ah, we've got the fast enough. Small pylon softly limits the room. Bizarre energy seems radiating from it. Yes, we need additional pylons. Hmm. Salvation or death? Let's find out. Hmm. Oh, 
distance. See mom and us now. Okay, I guess we will. Yeah, red, blue, or green. We will choose now. We will decide when we will start the game. And I think it's easier to get the easiest to drive. Warped angel, she from dark green emerald hovers effortlessly above the pedestal. She pious claim this artifact. Yes, I think he shall. What could possibly happen? Oh. Pius, you don't look so good. Oh dear. Eons have passed since then, and I have learned much. I was once as naive as a child, but now my mind is sharp. With the power of Zalatath, I can now read the thoughts of others and make them raving mad with a mere suggestion. Face me, and you shall surely perish. Whoa. What? Alex has acquired the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Why ain't that peachy? This is the Tome of Eternal Darkness, where experienced spells and enchanted items can be stored for future use. It's made from fragments of human skin and bone and down with the magical powers. How lovely. Uh, Edward Warvis' study is filled with arcane knickknacks, mementos of yesteryear and other cultures. The odor of ancient texts and fa is faintly noticeable under the peppering of dust that covers every surface, except one. The disk had been the center of activity, and not a mote of dust is on it. Here, Alex's grandfather had worked perhaps even hours before the end. And now that I have the tome, I can understand this. Strangely, with the Tome of Darkness in her possession, I can read the page. It is a chapter page from the Tome itself. Should I take the chapter page? Okay. The Binding of the Corpse God. Let's read it right away. I cannot say what was the true beginning, nor am I sure of its end. So perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, The Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. Ooh. Thy time is done, great ancient. Forever in shadow will you be master of chaos. And to fade to nothing in obscurity will be thy fate. My master has planned many millennia for this day. It is the true chaos of all things that you now must be entombed amongst the, the beings, beings of, of flesh, flesh and bone. bone. You have a great monument here, Mantarok. It is a pity that no one will ever recognize it as yours. May the darkness claim thee, crawling chaos and damn beast. No longer will thy reign be kept over the ancients you have kept imprisoned. Thou hast seen the last of this world. Stuck as Montauk. Hans misses it. Mythical fables can keep me amused. There has to be something to do around here. 
I only wish something that fantastic and of higher purpose could happen to me. Oh, you have no idea. Um, och vilken fantastisk öde som väntar vår uh, hjältinna för närvarande. Det får vi reda på i nästa episod. För vi kommer fortsätta spela det här till, till slutet hoppas jag. Uh, men till dess så får ni ha en uh, mysig och läskig Halloween. Så ses vi i nästa episod. Bye bye. <laughs>